Hey mom, can you show me how to make ghee? For oh, sure, I'll show you how to make ghee. First you need a nice big thick, you know, uh, stainless steel vessel. And uh, I prefer the unsalted butter from Trader Joe's. Uh, make sure it's unsalted. And uh, I buy that. I definitely keep few in my freezer, so I take it out as I need it. I make a lot of ghee because we use it in all our daily um, cooking as well as when we serve food. Uh, since we are uh, South Indians, we use a lot of ghee in all our dishes. I think if you can do like uh, a box, which is like a pound worth, uh, you can use it for probably I would say like two to three weeks. Okay, and I'm going to turn on the uh, flame, like maybe number four uh, for a while and then I'm going to turn it down as we cook the butter. Okay, it's been about 40 minutes and if you can see the color, it's getting brown at the bottom, probably has a little bit more to go. Okay, so the bubbles, little bubbles, don't have to completely clear, but if you like blow them away a little bit, see that's nice and brown, golden. And so that is the level. I mean, don't be scared. It's not totally burned. And we're going to turn off the heat. All right, so after about a low simmer for uh, 50 minutes, 5-0, it kind of had a little bit of bubbles, and we turned off the stove, and we let it cool for about 40 minutes. And the reason we want to cool it is because if you put it into your jar that you want to store it in, it's going to be way too hot and it'll explode. And then now we're ready to do the next step, which is filter it using a tea strainer, a metallics tea strainer, and pouring it in to our jar. Nice. This ghee doesn't go bad um, for a long time, so keep it clean. Don't put any wet spoons into it. Hey mom, so thanks for the video and showing us how to make ghee. Can you tell us a little bit about why you chose that particular butter? Yeah, the butter that I got was the Trader Joe's brand, not the organic, but the regular Trader Joe's brand. You know, it becomes like a grainy, like a lot of grains and the smell of the ghee is very wonderful. You know, it is nice and uh, good aroma for the ghee. Uh, when I compared it with other butters in the market, uh, out of all the different butters that you get in any uh, grocery stores, this turned out uh, to be the best. So we use ghee for tempering. When we do the rasam, we do tempering with that. When we do another um, South Indian dish called pongal, we use that um, for garnishing the savory pongal. Also we use it in um, sweet pongal. Uh, and all kinds of desserts, we fry the cashews and the raisins in the ghee and only put it, only after, you know, frying in ghee, we put it in, in the desserts. So, you know, it's very useful and it's very healthy. It's, it's good for your bones, good for your health. So that's what Ayurvedic people believe in. So I think it's good for you guys. So use butter in the form of ghee, which is better. Thanks, mom. Enjoy making the ghee yourself. It's easy.